Hey, what's going on? This is Emmanuel Berth. I'm Sergio Rowan. This is Pablo Sandoval. This is Brandon Crawford. This is Barry Zito. You're watching SFTV. 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 Dre Medina, SFTV. We're here at AT&T Park. A big, big game. The black and orange Giants are taking on the rivalry, the Dodgers. We're going to talk to some of the players, some of the fans, and see what this big game is all about. So check it out. Sweet LA! Sweet LA! Sweet LA! Let's go, Giants! Woo! Go, Giants! Timmy! Woo! This is going to be a tight race. They're a good ball club. I don't care what happened in this series. Uh, they have a. A very talented ball club. It's, you know, it's a gradual process, and uh, everybody, like I said, wants to go out there when they're doing the crappy, throw nine inning shutout. But you know, if I would have, you know, a win today is big enough for me, and I'll take that and roll off that. So to throw seven shutout, you know, is, is even bigger. But at the same time, I know I still got work to do these next four days and get ready for my next. Can we talk about this Dodgers sweep that's going on? The Flames are going crazy. They brought you back out. You did a great job. Uh, it's really, really fun. You know, I, we just beat our rivals and we swept them at our place, let alone we didn't allow them to score a run. So, uh, <laughs> holy cow, it's, it's a great feeling. The fans, everything, the, the atmosphere, everything about it, uh, it, it literally is you know, a testament of you know, the effort that everyone's been putting in. I know, good to see Timmy doing so good on the mound again, huh? <laughs> it's pretty sweet, you know, they don't call him the freak for nothing, you know. He's a guy who's very, you know, very competitive and uh, he goes out there and, and He's got a lot of fight in him, a lot of willpower. So when he's out there and, and, and he's out there to, and utilizes that, you know, he, he's pretty awesome. He's pretty legit out there. So uh, kudos to Timmy today. Congratulations on the win today. You guys swept the Dodgers. Thank you, thank you. You know, it's a good, good city for this. Yeah? yeah. All right, and you guys actually did so well across the bridge in Oakland against the A's. So you guys have just been doing well this season. You know, we, we got a great team. You know, when you pull all the pieces together, they got we got good pitching rotation, we got great liners, so I think so when, when we come play hard every day, so I think so that's the key for, for us right now. That's a big series, um, a, lot of, a lot of games left, but uh, definitely a big series. You okay. excited about the um, All-Star run? Yeah, um, I guess we'll see soon uh, who makes it, but uh, yep, just concentrating on the season right now. All right, how was it playing first base today? It was fine. Yeah, that was fine. You know, anytime we can win games is always good, but, um, you know, big series like this, you know, um, confidence series like the last one in Oakland, you know, um, it's, it's always better. It always feels a little better. All right, it seems like Timmy the Freak has got his juice back. Yeah, he's doing good. I mean, he's been um, working hard all, all season long and trying to get him get himself where he needs to be. And um, if it, see, it feels good to see him come out there and feel confident and, you know, throw his pitches and get a win. You know, all wins are always good, but to see him out there with some confidence and swag is always good. All right, I'm talking to the shortstop, Mr. Brandon Crawford. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. Yeah, it, was a, it was a good series. Um, our, our hitting was was good, our offense was good, and uh, obviously our pitching was there. Being so. from the Bay Area, how, how much, what does it mean to you now that uh, it's a lot of fun. I mean, it's, it's everything I dreamed of growing up, and uh, this is where I've wanted to be, so it's a lot of fun. Can we talk about how good Tim Lincecum was? Um, yeah, definitely. You know, Timmy's been good his last handful of starts, and he's just had some bad luck. But, uh, you know, we put it together, uh, everything for him today, and it was just fun to watch him. The All-Star game is coming up. Who, who, who have you been voting for? <laughs> my 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 teammate Melky Melky Cabrera, you know, he's one of those guys who, you know, enjoy be there, you know, he he's earning it down, you know, to be in the All Star game. Can we talk about All Star? Do you have like a personal favorite of, on the team? Who you who you're rooting for? Um, I'm a huge Clay Hensy fan. Clay Hensy, yeah. <laughs> myself. You sure, I'm sure you are. <laughs> no, I am. I mean, all the guys. You know, we got a lot of contenders this year, so um, definitely happy to see Posey out front in the voting. He deserves it after battling through the injury last year. Buster, I've said for a long time, he's my favorite player, so I, I want to see him in there. Um, and then Pagan would be nice to see. Woo! Go Giants! Woo! Go Giants! Go Giants! As you can see, three game sweep, no runs, first place. First place. I'm gonna have to go Milky. He brought the milkman and the milkmaids. 
I love the milkmaids. Who's your favorite giant squid? Oh, Brian. <laughs> oh, I'm going, I'm going Posey, Melky. And then uh, second up is Kane, baby Kane. That's a hard one. I love them all, so we're, but they Timmy. Timmy likes to come. Yeah. Matt Kane, definitely. Melky, of course. Maybe it doesn't matter which one, whoever's doing it that day, you know? Come on. Uh, I'd have to say Little Baby Busta. I love Crawford. He's so hot. <laughs> Buster, you gotta go. Buster's gotta go. I say Melky.